Hello, hello, beautiful Aquarius. How are you? <laughs> this is Allie Jade with Ascended Stars bringing in your Aqua Weekly for Friday, my child. You guys got TGIF. Thank God it's Friday because you guys are hard workers. I know you guys are hard workers. And like I mentioned before, I love working with Aquariuses. I love it. I really do need to get me a Aquarius co-worker. Anyway, come work with me. Um, so I hope your week is going well. Things are really shifting, I think, for you guys. This is really energy that is chiseling you guys into really thinking futuristically. And uh, that's what you're all about. You're ruled by Uranus. And speaking of Uranus, went into Taurus this week on the 13th. So it's moving direct. Your planet is moving direct. And you're plotting along in the earth element of Taurus. You're being influenced by that. And uh, let's see what we have for you, my beautiful aquas. For the week of Friday to Friday. And then let's see what we have, astrologically speaking, influentially. What is the astrological influence here on my Aquariuses? What is the astrological influences? No. One more shuffle. There we go. Okay. So let's take a look and see. It's been quite interesting. Oh, wow. Okay. Your Polarity Leo got that card too. Interesting. Okay, uh, let's see here. So you have Merlin making it happen, manifesting. Yeah, but moderation. So you got to just, I guess, ease up on the break. You, you guys want to go too fast, or you want to, you want to jump some steps, or. Okay, so we have first up, Merlin, alchemy, justice, balance, and moderation. So it does seem. Sorry for the glare. I'm trying to get this not glare. It's. Either it's too dark or there's glare. So alchemy, justice, and balance. Wow, balance and moderation. You guys are balancing it out. That's beautiful. I love that. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have power, strength, and completion. Wow, man. This week is epic. What the heck? Okay. And we have creative projects and self-love. Oh, my God. Yeah, that web is weaving, honey. That You guys are weaving that web, and it's going to take shape. Follow your dreams and disruption. Ooh la la. What's going on there? That's an interesting one. So like you are on one track, and you want one thing, and er, sh put the brakes and shift that on that one. And look, that's your energy. Oh, my God. This is interesting. That's why disruption. Okay. The thunderbolt energy. It's going to come in quick. So this could also be positive. Like this really could propel you more into your dream as well. That's, that's, that's I'm not getting like a bad vibe with that. I'm just getting like a, something quick is going to happen regarding the way that your life is moving in the direction you've been wanting it to move because you have pride and leadership here at the end of the week. And environment. Environment has been coming up. Uh, that came up for what was the other reading I had? Um, Taurus that came up for Taurus okay so let's get some clarifiers and let's start explaining what's happening here okay let's see what uh, disruption is for sure what is going on there what is going on there and creative projects oh that sounds amazing so you guys are just getting lost in your creativity this is a, a trine we're having in water this weekend so um, you're, you're taking it to your best advantage. I do feel like you're connecting with others. Wow. Yes. It's a yes. Yeah. Okay. Exactly what I said. You guys are on a certain path and there's a disruption that comes in. It's going to be fast, very fast, swift energy here. You have clarity now. You're going to, this week, you might get the epiphany on, how, on what to move forward with to follow your dream, okay? And you're going to go forward. You're going to move. It's going to happen. You're going to get that idea, right? Where the mind goes, the body will follow. You're going to get it, and you're going to just move that direction. You're like, okay, now I know what to do. Let's go. So that's perfect. Um, I know my some of my creators need that. They need it. They need it. It's like you've been kind of in a in a fog 
like for some of you like you've been like in this like you're in, in this fog and now you're getting this clarity beautiful beautiful energy okay second chance here so this is because you have you've been out of balance this is your chance to get in balance because this was the one that came in with moderation so you're ready to manifest like you've gotten it's like you're sick and tired of being sick and tired that's what i, I pick up so this is a, a completion energy uh for you because we have the dragon so it's t you know you have you know what you know why you have a dragon here because i feel like you haven't had that strength you haven't had that umph to really complete things to really finish it you know to really get going to you know you haven't had that fire under your butt or something you know and it's like I feel like that's what's happening like now you are definitely getting that fire you're definitely propelling yourself you're definitely something happened you're shifting something you know and you're giving yourself a second chance here you're given a second chance here there, there there is light at the self at the end of the tunnel um you're giving yourself a second chance because um completion comes with seven of swords okay you haven't been wanting to complete something you haven't been wanting to make peace that means emotionally like you haven't been wanting this is this trying is probably going to help you really dig into those emotions and what if you've been tap toeing around you know certain things that you just haven't wanting been wanting to confront you know they've been too much of a of a of a of a mountain to really you know contend with you will have the energy the the, the stamina the uh emotional intelligence to deal with it because i just feel like you've been running away you've been running away in the past maybe you've been living a little bit of that poor me mentality um but uh, you know, you really do need to learn to love yourself a little bit more, okay? To manifest, self love has to do with manifestation. They are so tied together, and so you know that. Um, let's look what this project is. So the spider is about really, you know, having developed something and it's going to take off, you know. But it's slow movement. It's not fast. Capricorn is slow movement, right? We're in uh, Capricorn energy still with a lot of planets in Capricorn energy so it's about plotting and you know uh, plotting planning the hangman energy you see this is exactly so some course so for you some projects have been on hold and you know that's kind of maybe uh, discouraged you okay and also you you thought it, you would be at a different but what I get is like some Aquarius has thought that they would be at a different place in their life at this time and they've kind of been like oh I thought I'd be like somewhere else and I'm here like they're dealing with stuff so they, and that's only because of their emotions that's only because their emotions are stopping them and self-love you 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 have connected the dots this week the Pisces trine with the node in cancer uh, nurturing yourself your environment uh, the people you care about, Pisces unconditional love, and Scorpio transformation is really propelling you guys. Oh, this is awesome. I'm going to make this short and sweet, but let's look at the astrological influence, Taurus. And I did say Taurus got this card as well. Okay, so you have... You have to work on cleaning up your environment, Aquarius, to get you to where you want to go. Now, that being said, what I really pick up here is you have to manifest from a place of a solidarity, which is to me represents a good foundation. So you need um, you need a place that you can go back to and check in. So Taurus, what I'm trying to say is like Taurus has Tauruses has have um, they like luck they like nice comfortable things. They're about the senses, okay, the five senses. So they like their home to feel good look good and they like to have good food uh, so it's important for my Aquariuses right now to have a good home to be able to manifest for for abundance manifestation to get you propel you where you need to go if you do not have that if you don't have a good foundation that's the basis of productivity okay and so maybe you need to it's the epiphany this week is you need to really build that for yourself okay and and you're and, and the epiphany could be that you are finding out where you're going to live where you're going to really establish this energy from so you can be the leader you're meant to be because whatever you're going through it's to propel you to be a leader 
Also, Taurus is about valuing yourselves. Let me read the card. <laughs> the energy around you shows the abundance of nature. It is rich, earthy, and productive, yet relaxed and slow. So many of you need to be out in nature to uh, help you uh, charge this energy, to help you um, ground whatever it is that the emotions that you haven't been able to communicate express freely i do feel that taurus is excuse me aquarius is about defragmentation you know you are ruled by the uranus that, that you've had to deal with some shocks the it, it's the nervous system watch your nervous system as well your nerves could be really um on edge so you have to ground yourself you have to have more earth stuff you know you have to um eat well and protect yourself protect your the things that you value you know and that it's just um, really about nurturing yourself and the reason why you haven't been able to nurture yourself is because your emotions have been stuck so you have to self-love yourself okay um, I'm gonna leave it at that we're gonna do the wisdom Oracle and step into this new vibration that's waiting for you but only you are stopping yourself you have the power you have the strength here we go truth be told i think it came in upside down but i i'm just gonna read it as it is truth be told number 14 which is about together it's a five it's a shift it says truth be told honesty accepting things at face value coming out of denial the willingness to be transparent and clarity of communication there is the truth which is the essence of a thing and then there is a truth subjective according to the philosophy of the adherent or believer this is not a time for debate about which truth is truer this is a time when you are called to proclaim your truth out loud and be willing to be transparent honest and open in your communication with others and with yourself nothing less than surrender to what is peeling off the layers of denial that kept you tied to an illusion will set you free be authentic and gloriously flawed and spirit will answer with miracles yeah it's a this is this is interesting because leo got pride and that that your that's your polarity so you might want to check the the leo um reading but if you're depressed now do not check the leo reading because theirs is even more depressing you guys are going through it um self-love for my aquariuses and pride is in the way for my leos um so the universe wants to give you more but you have to reach a place where you can receive it so i just want to say thank you for watching i hope this has been helpful and i look forward to connecting with you um, next week in the future take care bye bye